What is going on YouTube? Blood City Nerd and back with another video. I know it's been a little bit since I made a video, but I got some good new uh, excuse me, interesting news for you guys in uh the wrestling world today. Um former NXT superstar Jordan Miles has quit WWE. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally don't think he quit. He honestly I think they just decided to fire him. Because he just he just ruined his own career, but let me let me get into the reason why. WWE NXT superstar Jordan Miles, according to WrestlingInc.com, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, took to Twitter to announce that he is quitting WWE. As of today, I'd like to officially announce I quit WWE. I am no longer employed. I refuse to work for racists. I quit. I hate them. I hate the company, blah, 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 blah. He just goes on saying, screw the company and all this. Just completely trashes it at this point. <clears throat> this video comes after Miles previously called the company out for what he claimed was a racist t-shirt design. He will go on to state that WWE does not care about black people. Miles made a tweet on November 3rd that said he will make sure his voice and mo mo movement will be heard. And if he didn't hear from WWE by the next day... He would have been, he would have been uh, November 4th. Miles, who was booked to win his first the first ever NEC breakout tournament this year, has changed his Twitter back to Super ACH and removed all WWE references. You can see his original Twitter video from today, which he calls his PG version. So yeah, basically, he decided to leave, but I I, I personally don't believe that. I I, I think they've already just pulled the plug on him because I really don't blame WWE. They re he, they, he really tried to just slander them and make them really look bad over a shirt that he approved. And even I heard uh, Booker T say this in an interview, like every shirt that they've ever made for him, they had to go and talk to him directly and say, hey, do you like this design? Do you like this design? Do you like this design? So, because the, I mean, they're going to ask for the rest. They want the, they want the wrestler to know or excuse me, the superstar to know like if, if they like the design before they push it out to the people and have it available for sale, which makes sense. So for him to you know say that oh I I didn't have I didn't, my hands were tied that this 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 you still approve the shirt man, which is why it was released to the public. But you know that's all that's going on with that. But I wanted to give you guys my quick opinion on. This whole Rusev, Lana, Bobby Lashley storyline that's been going on lately. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. It, it has been drawing a lot of numbers on the WWE's YouTube page. You can go check that out for yourself and, you know, take a look at the clips of that. I mean, apparently it's drawn a lot of numbers. Some people have found it very cringeworthy. I mean, at, at, at first, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought it was pretty uh, interesting to see which how they're going to, you know, twist this. And I'm sitting here thinking like, hmm. It's a little odd he might do a storyline with his wife being, you know, being unfaithful and things like that. But I wanted to see how it goes. But now it's just getting kind of, it's really gotten kind of cringeworthy over time. You know, especially with the whole, them ending almost every segment with uh, Bobby and Lana just locking the lips. And then the recent, the recent uh, episode of Raw that was taped in Manchester, United Kingdom. They uh, edited out what the crowd's real reaction was to Lana's promo when she talked about her sex life with Bobby Lashley. Her mentioning she, her and Bobby did the horizontal mambo like seven weeks ago, but she's two weeks pregnant. People just weren't digging that at all. They were telling her to shut up, you know, boring, boring. You know, those, those usual indicators that know, that let anybody know like, hey, this promo's terrible. <laughs> You know, it, 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 I don't know how they just are going to end this whole thing. I think they're finally going to have their match at a uh, Survivor Series. But hopefully, hopefully the cringe will end soon because uh, hopefully they don't drag it out too much longer. Hopefully that this is the end at Survivor Series, but we can only wait and see. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about was uh, CM Punk's return, quote unquote, return to WWE. Now... He hasn't necessarily returned to WWE per se. He was just featured on an episode of WWE Backstage. Not for WWE, but for Fox. 
So as of right now, he hasn't had a, a, a an official official like a t return yet because he hasn't really been signed with the company or anything. I haven't heard anything about him uh, negotiating with WWE officials about them signing a multi-year deal or anything like that. But at this point, if he really does want to come back to WWE, I think he'll make a huge impact. And plus, a lot of wrestlers have already been lining up to try to get in the ring with him and, you know, you know, have a match with him and everything. I think that'd be really good because I personally like to see maybe Ricochet go against him or uh, AJ Styles would be pretty, a pretty fun match to watch. That's just my humble opinion. But you guys can tell me what you think about that. Do you think CM Punk is really uh, going to return to the WWE officially and we're going to see him in the ring again soon? Or was he just featured on backstage and then that's all we're pretty much going to get out of him? What do you guys think of the... Uh, Rusev, Lana, and uh, Bobby Lashley storyline. Let me know below. And also, what's your what's your guys' thoughts on Jordan Miles being uh, or quitting, or quote unquote quitting, or being fired? Please let me know what you think about those uh, in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I mean, it really means a lot. I, I really like doing this, you know, YouTube thing. It's 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 really fun. And plus, I get to talk about what I like to talk about. So I really appreciate the people who have been watching and liking my videos. And make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and bell notification so you never miss a new video. Also, follow my Facebook page at Bluff City Nerd. Just type that in the uh, search, search bar on Facebook. And I'll put the link below. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys again for watching. I'm Bluff City Nerd, and you guys have a good one.